All right, people, it's Sprat here, and look, my hands are in the corner, my fingers, my controller, it's all in there in the corner. I can't believe how weird it looks not having my face cam there, but we're finally doing it. We're finally recording a controller cam video. A lot of people have wanted this for a while now. I'm sorry it took this long. I don't know why I put it off for so long. I didn't even put it off. I just didn't want to get down and record it like this because I don't know what it was. I When I was recording this, I found it pretty tough to just hold my controller steady in the webcam shot. I don't know why I'm so aggressive. Like, look at my hands. They're so aggressive on the sticks, on the buttons, I'm very forceful with it, I'm very, I, I just, I don't know, I guess I'm pretty passionate about it, because I'm really getting into it, especially when it's like an intense situation, you can see me like pulling it away and moving it a lot, and I don't know if you guys have ever filmed yourself holding your controller when you play, but I didn't realize I played like this, it's very weird, I'm sticking my, look at my finger there, my big finger uh, on the left side, I think that's aim, it's kind of like mirrored a little bit, I guess you would say. I might actually flip it around. No, because then my feet will be looking into the sky. So we'll keep it how it is. But my aim button, my aim finger, I guess you would say, is just stick it out. Like, just hover it over the button, James. What are you doing? So this is weird. It's very weird to look at this, but you guys wanted it, especially on Black Ops 3. You wanted to see what my fingers were doing, working their magic on this game. And uh, I decided to finally do it. Finally go ahead and show you guys what it looks like, what control I'm using. And I'll talk a little bit about that in the, uh, in the video here here but i've got some streaks for you we've got one on stronghold here then after that i'm going to show you quickly what the controller looks like and then we're going to get into a berserk one and a breach one i am i'm excited to see what you guys think and see if this is enjoyable at all if you don't care for a look at my hands which i'm sure a lot of you guys aren't here for that at all i don't know what it is a lot of people just like this i saw scump did a video on this years ago i think it was when he what was he doing at claw which is like obviously where you use two fingers on the buttons rather than just the one. Uh, rather than just your thumb, you use it a finger and a thumb. It's weird. I can't really explain it. But claw is basically allowing you to jump and aim at the same time. And that's what I have a scuff for. Because if you can't tell right now, I'm rocking a scuff impact control. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like on the screen very, very soon. But basically, it has paddles on the back. And I've used a scuff controller for, I don't know, like six years five six years i think it was 2011 someone's gonna you know quote me on that but i'm pretty sure it was then when i did my first review of it and i wasn't too fond of it i'll be honest but once i got used to it oh my god it changed the game and now with the movement based games that we've got right now uh, it's just so much fun to have that and just being able to control your aim without taking your thumb off the analog stick which is what you have to do when you jump in unless like i said you play claw or you do trigger what is it called trigger jumping jumping trigger uh, it's not anything. Bumper Jumper? Is that what it is? I think that's the name of it. So, there's obviously different ways to get around it, but I'd highly recommend if you have the money and you want a gift of some description, get yourself a scuff, especially the scuff impact. As you can tell, it's shaped kind of like the Xbox 360 controller, but I'm actually on PS4, so if you really like that controller, it's great. There's obviously default PS4, default Xbox One, all that good stuff, but check out scuff in the description if you want to look them up and, and see if you like the controllers. If you're a fan of what you see in the corner, you can always use code SPRAT on checkout for a discount nice plug in there james always good stuff to do that but honestly though it's really really enjoyable and i love this controller and i couldn't see myself not use it a scuff at this point it's been so long since i've used a regular controller that i just couldn't you know get used to it it take me a while it definitely would take me a while it might be okay on the new games but definitely on movement based games it is coming so handy and as you can tell on the screen right now you know it's it's allowing me to be focused while i'm in the air i don't need to move around my analog stick i don't need to move my thumb around i just focus up when i'm in the air because my fingers at the back are pressing the paddles so my layout my sensitivity let's get into that really really quickly here so my layout of the scuff is the left paddle is jump so it's a and x obviously x for ps4 and a for xbox one or xbox and then the right paddle is actually circle or B for me. So that is actually, for me, it is melee. For a lot of people, it's going to be crouch or prone, stuff like that. But I play tactical layout because I've always done that ever since I first did it or first made the change, I've never turned back, you know, and that was probably years ago as well. So I just love that I can melee and, and panic melee and stuff with the paddle. And obviously it's not too helpful on these games, but in the past it's been very, very helpful. I actually slide and go prone with my right analog stick by pushing that down. So that's how I play 
sensitivity is 8-8 on BO3. A lot of people thought I changed it. I haven't changed it. It's been 8-8 since I got the game pretty much, and then it stayed that way. I've never changed it. I've never put it up, never put it down. So a lot of people thought I'd put it up, and I'm here to prove you wrong. It's 8-8 still, and then on Modern Warfare Remastered and Infinite Warfare, it is 13-13, obviously. High sensitivities on that game, and you have aim assist, so it could always be higher. So there's my settings there. The scuff is just a basic one. My sticks are the PS4 sticks. I know a lot of people think, James, you have some massive thumbs. Why are you using the small PS4 default sticks? Because scuff obviously have their own like sticks you can use. You can have taller ones, smaller ones, bigger ones, wider ones. Whatever it is, you know, you can find one that kind of suits your fingers, but for me, or thumbs, obviously, but for me, I don't know what it was as soon as I used the PS4 sticks again, as soon as I went back, because I was a PlayStation kid, and then I moved to Xbox 360 when I was like 17, 16, something like that, and then ever since then, I was on Xbox, Xbox One, and then when they changed the DLCs and stuff to PlayStation, you know, the PlayStation gets them early, I switched to this, and I just fell in love with the sticks again, I don't know what it is, I have big, big thumbs, and these tiny little sticks on the PS4, just work well. I don't know what it is. So that's what I rock. I don't know if I have trigger stops on. I am using the... I'm playing flipped if you can't tell right now. So I don't actually use the triggers. I'm using the bumpers to aim and shoot and I throw my grenades and stuff like that with my Triggers, I always get that mixed up. Triggers is the back ones, the bottom ones, and bumpers is the top ones. So, yeah, I play flipped, so I don't have to worry about, you know, having trigger stops on. That's one of the reasons I do it, because you can fire faster and stuff like that. So, that's kind of how I rock the controller. Um, hopefully, I didn't speak too quick there. I will probably put a list of the specs and everything of the controller and the settings that I use in the description if I spoke a little bit too fast here. It feels like my voice is kind of wearing down. Maybe I've been playing too much COD recently, trying to get these live videos done. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for today. I wanted to show off, you know, the streaks that I've got, but I obviously wanted to show off the controller, how I hold it. I've got some weird habits. I tried not to show them in the video, but I click my fingers a lot. I click my thumbs a lot. Don't do that, okay? Hopefully, I didn't show any in there. I've got some bad habits. I also kind of move my thumb over to the other stick sometimes when I'm running so I can give one a rest. It's, it's some weird things. Don't copy what I do here. Just take a look at what I do and just kind of figure out if that works for you. And it's not like you're watching someone sprint or, or do tricks or anything. I'm just holding a controller and it's hard to take anything from that. But if you take something from this video, then I, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it did help in some way. But that's going to do it for today's video. I wanted to do a controller cam video, show off how I hold the controller, what I'm rocking with, and uh, yeah, some streaks as well. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Like I said, you can use code SPRAT on checkout. If you want to get yourself a scuff controller, I would highly recommend it, but that's going to do it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.